Okay, the GTA 6 trailer just dropped early. I was recording another video in GTA 5 as I had the Rockstar stream up on my monitor waiting to watch it tomorrow morning and it just randomly started playing. I have my live reaction to that. I'm gonna put a clip right now. French. French, I'm seeing the GTA 6 trailer before it coming out. It's playing! They fucked up! It's playing on my screen! My first reaction to this trailer is that it looks absolutely insane. There is so much to pick apart in this trailer. Alright, I think I'm gonna mute the music because I'm pretty sure it's copyrighted. Um, so you might not hear the audio. I mean, this is- we're 12 seconds in and look at how much is already happening. Look at all of the animals, the jet skis on the shore. I mean, the water physics here look absolutely insane. Look at the water spray on this jet ski. It's absolutely nuts, dude. I'm so excited. Look at the map, bro! It's huge! Guys, this is gonna be- I mean, this game will break records. Not only in sales, in players' count. I mean, this is gonna be absolutely huge. This is over a decade in development, and I mean, it, it shows. Look at how nice this looks. I think this is gonna be a, pre a pretty wacky prediction. Either they're really, really, really good at modeling interiors of buildings that you can't go into, or we're gonna be able to go into every building. Look at the windows right here. I mean, there's so much depth here. I would be so shocked if we can't actually go in this. All right, so we're getting like the Everglades in the swamp. We've got an airboat already just cruising through the swamp. That's pretty sick. Flamingos. There's so much wildlife, dude. Look at the crocodiles in there. There is so much going on here. Oh my God. There are so... I don't think you understand how insane this is to have this many NPCs in one area. If the game is actually like this, if this isn't like a staged scenario, that is insane. There are so many people in this shot. If you have a bad computer now and you can't play GTA 5, I would bet millions of dollars you could not even run this. Look at how much detail. There's a little dog in the middle. Look at all, again, it's every shot. There's like tons of aircraft just flying around. I mean, this is going to be absolutely wild. Okay, here's a better shot at the water physics. Wow, wait, let's go back. Look at the waves. That is insane. We need to slow this down. Look at the waves as the boat is making a wake. It, it had like a realistic wake to it as it was pushing the water out. Okay, this is like a pretty simple shot, but I mean, it kind of shows animations that we can get that are clearly new. Like, I mean, being a player in a car and being able to sit up and put your hands up, and then this guy's hanging out of the car as well, that's totally new. I mean, basically in GTA 5, when you get in the car, you're just locked in there. Uh, this would be pretty cool if we could have like movement outside of the car while it's driving. Again, dude, just so many like NPCs packed into the like surrounding areas. Oh! Look at this club, dude! <laughs> oh my god! Dude, the booty's got some jiggle, dude! Look at that booty jiggle! <laughs> we got realistic jiggle, boys! We did it! <laughs> okay, I I mean, this is such a quick shot, but look at how good the game looks. It's, it's This is a YouTube video, so it's gonna be compressed. It's gonna be a little pixelated. But, I mean, the physics... You can kind of see his head, like, shake when he gets hit with his hand. Oh my god, dude, this looks so good. Look at this map, guys. I I am notoriously known amongst my friend groups for hating Florida, but here it looks good. This looks so enjoyable. I have been so worried that this game wouldn't live up to GTA 5. Like, GTA 5 is like the pinnacle of video games for me. I mean, it's like the best thing ever. Seeing this here, I mean, this is going to blow 5 out of the water. This is absolutely insane. Look at this. Guys, the NPCs, I don't know. This feels like, a, like, in GTA 5, you'll end up driving around, and, and that map feels empty sometimes. It just feels, like, stranded, like, deserted. That is not going to be the case in this game. This is so packed and, like, full of life every turn you go. This feels like real life. I mean, it's nuts. Wow, I mean, again, with the water. Ooh, those are new. Those big barges down there. And then that yacht, that yacht as well is moving. Oh my God, guys, we have that big yacht right now in GTA 5. It came in DLC a while back, but we were not able to drive it. It just kind of teleports around the map, which is really kind of lame. So the fact that we can actually, it looks like we could actually drive yachts around is going to be sick. Oh, rooftop pool, dude. That's sick, dude. I bet there's like probably a thousand rooftop pools, but I would assume that we can go in almost every interior. It, uh, and on the rooftop of each if if you can't like i bet the game has elevators and you can just take an elevator right up to the top this is weird too so they keep showing these shots of like wow that guy's got a real sunburn too that's nuts i bet you i bet your player could get sunburned so it seems like social media is gonna be a big part of this they keep showing these shots of social media posts look yeah this is like this is again a social media post you can follow this guy or whatever so i'm sure there's gonna be some sort of social media network guys look at the vegetation dude this looks so good there's like muck on the side of the pool the graphics are gonna be like Nothing you've ever seen before in your life, probably. Oh, the jiggle's back! Let's go! Again, social media posts. It seems like this is going to be a big thing. 
The alligator, bro. The alligator in the store. Ooh, this... This shot is weird. The, the uh, body cam shot. This feels like RP to me. Um... This is either something to do with RP or it's just like a cinematic thing they're doing. But I would almost bet that this is for RP. Uh, they know people want to be cops and they know people are serious about it. So I would assume that they're taking a huge step towards making realistic policing. Uh, for like a player aspect. Look at this. I mean, this guy's kicking in the door. We're clearly the police in this scenario. Yeah, I, I would totally I would totally assume this is RP. All the, all the RP people out there should feel pretty good about this. Again, a social media post of a cop chasing a pretty large woman or man. Who knows? Another social media post, but you can see so much happening here, guys. This is such a detailed world. I mean, look, this guy's door is duct taped together. I mean, the physics, dude. Like, right here, this guy's hair blowing in the wind. Watch his hair. It just gets sucked right up in the in the vacuum of the... Uh, the. It gets sucked right up in the wind, dude. Uh, the physics... The engine that this game is built on is going to be nuts. Same with the paint on this guy's car. This is really an interesting scene. Look at the flake in that paint. Look at that. This is gonna be nuts, guys. This is gonna be insane, boys! All right, I just translated this lower Spanish part. It says a tattoo on the neck that gave away himself. Key to conviction. So basically what they're saying is that the tattoos got this guy arrested. So I wonder if, I mean, this could just be like a social media gag or something, or literally if the police are gonna recognize you from your tattoos in this game, if the, if the AI is that advanced. The motorcycle physics look insane. I mean, these look way better than GTA 5. Everything looks better than GTA 5. Literally everything. Look at that. I mean, dude, that looks so good. Oh, the biker takeovers, dude. I didn't even notice this the first time I watched this. That is so realistic, and that probably happens every day in Florida, especially. Oh, dude. I mean, the graphics look so good, guys. Rockstar, I could kiss you guys right now. This looks so good, dude. It's worth the wait, guys. It really is. Grand Theft Auto 6. Oh, my God. An absolute masterpiece. And unfortunately, coming in 2025, that might be the saddest part of it all. Everybody nowadays is just making games to make games. Rockstar is actually putting stuff out that is... I mean, this is art. This is literally art. Look at this, dude. I'll be honest, guys. This this literally gives me the same feeling as when I saw... Tra this literally gives me the same feelings when I saw trailers for GTA 5. I mean, this is this is insane, dude. I'm so excited. This is absolutely insane, dude. Look at these buildings, dude. It looks beautiful at night. Oh my god, yes. Let's go, dude. This is so sick. All right, guys. I'm just going to wrap it up here. I mean, there's really nothing else to say. I might dissect this a little bit more and you could hear from me in the future. Um, I, I just wanted to get this out as a quick look, kind of almost in live time as it happened. But it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, comment below what you guys think. I'm insanely excited for this. It looks so good. Shout out to Rockstar, dude. They're the only game company actually making games worth anybody time nowadays comment below if you're excited as well and uh yeah maybe i'll see you in another uh recap uh, if i can pick out more details peace boys